Hello, my name is Camille Ashbaugh and I'm here today to talk to you about the human skeletal system. This video is designed to be a helpful memorization tool for the major bones of the human body. I'll begin with the skull. There are 22 bones in the skull, with three additional bones in each ear. The 22 bones are split into two categories, cranial bones and facial bones. There are eight cranial bones and 14 facial bones. Of the cranial bones, the frontal bone, the two parietal bones, the two temporal bones, and the occipital bone are pictured here. Of the 14 facial bones, the mandible, the two maxillas, the two zygomatics, the two nasals are pictured here. Each of these smaller bones are not pictured here. The ethmoid bone, which separates the nasal cavity from the brain, the vomer bone, which is an unpaired bone within the center of the nasal cavity, the two palatine bones, which form the three walls of the nasal cavity, the two inferior nasal conchi, which extend along the lateral wall of the nasal cavity, and the two lacrimal bones, which are the smallest and most fragile bones of the face, and are located in the front portion of the eye socket and the medial wall. Next, we'll move on to the spine. There are 26 bones, each called vertebrae, that make up the spinal column. They are divided into five subgroups, listed in order from top to bottom. There are seven cervical vertebrae, 12 thoracic vertebrae, five lumbar vertebrae, and the sacral and coccygeal vertebras, which are each formed of one fused vertebrae. In the cervical category, the very first vertebra is known as the atlas, after the Titan in Greek mythology, who held up the world as punishment for wrongdoing. The second bone is known as the axis. Next, I'll talk about the chest, back, and upper arm. The most prominent feature of the human chest is the rib cage. This consists of the sternum, the 12 thoracic vertebrae, the costal cartilages, and the ribs themselves. There are 24 total ribs, 12 per side. The upper seven ribs are known as true ribs because they connect directly to the costal cartilages and the sternum. The eighth, ninth, and tenth ribs on either side are called false ribs because they connect to the cartilage of the upper ribs. The last two ribs on either side are known as floating because they have no connection to the sternum. The lower, tiny bone connected to the sternum is known as the xiphoid process. The upper bone connected to the sternum is called the manubrium. The clavicles, or collar bones as they are commonly known, connect to the sternum through this manubrium. In turn, these clavicles are connected to the scapulas, or shoulder blades. The scapula connects to the upper arm bone, called the humerus. Next, I'll continue down the arm to the lower arm, wrist, and hand. The two bones that make up your lower arm are known as the radius and the ulna. They connect to a group of eight bones called the carpals, which make up your wrist. The carpals connect to the metacarpals, which lead the way to the phalanges, or commonly known as fingers. There are five metacarpals and five phalanges in each hand. Let's explore the individual bones that make up the carpals. The eight bones that make up the carpals are individually known as the hamate, the pisiform, the triketral, the lunate, the trapezoid, the trapezium, the scaphoid, and the capitate. Next, I'll venture further down the body to the pelvis. This ring-shaped cavity that connects the spine to the femurs is known as the pelvic girdle. Its main features are the coxal bones, or the hip bones as they are commonly known. The adult human coxal bone is fused of three original bones, the ilium, the ischium, and the pubic bone. The ilium is connected to the sacrum of the spinal column, and in this picture, the coccyx is visible as well. I'll continue on to the leg and the foot. 
The femur connects to the coxal bone by a ball and socket joint in a part of the pelvis called the tabulum, not pictured here. The femur then connects to the kneecap, technically known as the patella. From the patella, the two bones of the calf are called the fibula and the tibia. Then, much like the hand, the foot is divided into three portions, the tarsals, the metatarsals, and the phalanges, the talus, or the ankle bone, and the calcaneus, the largest bone in the foot, also known as the heel bone, are also shown here. Here, in greater detail, are the bones that make up the tarsals. There are three cuneiforms, which connect to the metatarsals, the middle, the intermediate, and the lateral cuneiforms. Then comes the navicular and the cuboid bones. Lastly, as previously seen, there is the talus, and the calcaneus. That concludes my video. I hope it helps you to learn the major bones of the human body. As a quick overview, the adult human body has 206 bones along with associated cartilage, tendons, and ligaments. The skeletal system gives the body a framework, while the bones themselves allow movement, protect and support vital organs, and provide a place for muscles to attach. The skeletal structure is the fundamental basis of the human form. Thank you for watching my presentation.